Greetings to all the ICMCI delegates who will be attending this year's virtual annual meeting. My name is Dwight Mahalitz, if you haven't met me before, and I'm the chair of ICMCI. And greetings also to other management consulting colleagues who are able to attend uh, this year's annual meeting because it is virtual. Uh, I look forward to sharing that experience with you. It's been almost one year since our annual meeting in Nassau. Um, I found that to be a very stimulating meeting because we spent a lot of time talking about strategy and the need for growth of ICMCI and all of our institutes to ensure that our management consulting profession is as strong as it absolutely can be. I know I came away stimulated uh, to be doing a lot of really good work along those lines. And in February of this year, your board met uh, face to face to, to come up with the key initiatives and the implementation plan for moving forward. Little did we know the challenges we would face this year. Uh, we knew we had a handful. Uh, growing as a profession is not going to be easy. There are many challenges that we have in front of us. But in a year of COVID, we did have to change direction several times and get a lot more focus in on supporting our institutes who are working hard uh, to support management consultants in these turbulent times. The institutes have done a tremendous job over the past year in pivoting uh, to provide different kinds of services uh, to management consultants inside their territories to ensure that they can uh, share knowledge, share best practices, learn from each other so that we know how to best support our clients when no one knows the answer. We can't predict the future uh, and it's very difficult for us to, uh, to come up with a formulaic response. So our diagnostic capability as consultants is really uh, put to the test. This year, as last year, and as every year, uh, we have put together an annual report, which is in your meeting package. That annual report is just full of information on all of the activities of last year, in spite of the pivots. Uh, I think we've been probably more busy than we are uh, normally because we needed to react in, in, in these difficult times. In that annual report, uh, you will be amazed with the work that was done, and I must thank all of the volunteers who have put in so many hours to ensure that we are continuing to improve our profession. It's just absolutely amazing work. And thank you to the institutes who through your membership fees uh, ensure that we have the minimum funding necessary in place at our secretariat to provide support to you and through you to our management consultants uh, members of your institutes uh, to ensure that uh, you are equipping them as well as you possibly can. Uh, for me, this past year um, is, is partly, in, well, it's very interesting to say the least, uh, partly disappointing, uh, but partly very stimulating. The disappointing part is that I had planned on uh, visiting a lot of you in your institutes to be face to face to learn from you and to share with you and uh, to build this profession together. Uh, that couldn't happen because of the uh, economic shutdowns and the travel restrictions from the COVID pandemic. But on the other hand, because of our virtual platforms and because of the many outreaches that we've made, uh, I've been uh, more busy in terms of meeting with uh, institutes at their meetings and uh, presenting to you and hosting meetings and uh, collaborating with you online than before. So I've seen more of you uh, through virtual meetings than I would have been able to see through face-to-face -face meetings. So, so that's the stimulating part. It's been, it's been invigorating to hear from so many and to be a part of so many different uh, meetings that you have invited me to. So I, I thank you for that. Uh, during the past year, I've tried to update you on our activity, activities every uh, two months or so to keep you up to date, and I will continue doing that uh, as, as we move forward. So as we move forward, uh, growth is the key. As a profession, we do need to grow. Uh, we have been stagnant in terms of number overall, but many of our institutes have been facing challenges in terms of membership. And this is not unusual. Most professional associations around the world are facing those same types of problems, primarily because new entrants into the professions do not see institutes in the same way. That fundamental value proposition of what it means to belong to an institute has changed. 
there's so much availability of knowledge there's so much availability of networking possibilities that we need to demonstrate to new entrants into consulting the many, many benefits that they can get by becoming affiliated uh, with our institutes and through the institutes with all of their colleagues around the world. And I use the word affiliated purposefully. Uh, we have used the membership model throughout our entire life up until now, and membership does not resonate with uh, the next generation of consultants in the way that it did with my generation. So we need to be thinking about that. And I do commend you to, to review the I, ICMCI 2020 onwards task force report where we are tackling exactly that and, and expect to be doing that work. So yes, we are facing disruption. Uh, client organizations are facing disruption. Our, our member management consultants are being disrupted as well. And, and we at ICMCI have recognized that and are doing everything necessary that we everything necessary and everything that we can to uh, to support you and to learn from each other as as we move forward so this really does to me reinforce the importance of this global network that we have this global family of management consulting professionals because in times of disruption we rely more on that network than ever before uh, as some of us have breakthroughs as we learn new ways of doing things, as we, as we have new insights, we can share those. And I have been absolutely amazed by the amount of sharing that has been going on in the past year and the amount of learning that I personally have had by participating in these workshops. And uh, you can count us uh, on us at ICMCI to continue to build those types of collaborative efforts as we go forward, both through the CMC Global Directory, but in other ways as, uh, as well. So it really does come down to our value proposition. And we know that at the most fundamental uh, level, the value proposition for our management consultants is to add value for clients. And at the institutes, your value proposition is how do you add value for management consultants? How do you help them to be better in their work so that they can provide better results and, and create more revenue and contribute to economic and social success uh, in your territories? And we at ICMCI have the value proposition of supporting you, the institutes, to ensure that you can do uh, your jobs uh, to support your, uh, your members in, in the best way possible. So by collaborating together, we can learn from each other and we can ensure that all of these value propositions are, are maximized. So uh, with saying that, I, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to be chair of this organization. We have great things ahead of us. We have done great things in the past, and I'm just looking forward to the opportunities uh, that we will have in, in the coming year and uh, look forward to collaborating you, uh, with you in that time. Uh, and I also do look forward to answering any questions that you might have at our virtual annual sessions, uh, which are coming up on October 14th. I'm looking forward to, uh, to collaborating with you in person, although virtually, at that time. Thank you very much.